number one. By the way, I am Christine E. Interompa from B in 1A and together with my group members, we are going to demonstrate the lesson about the air pressure and humidity in sign 6. The objectives of this lesson is that at the end of this lesson, the student should be able to differentiate air pressure and humidity, make an illustration about the air pressure and humidity through group activity, and lastly, give the effects of human activity to the air pressure and humidity through reflective essays. Good morning, class! How are you? Great! It's good to hear that you are safe and okay. By the way, class, I am Miss Christine Interompan. You can call me Ma'am Christine or Miss Christine. And before we start our class, please stand up for our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now, class, let us all sing an action song entitled, Air Pressure. Do you know that song, class? Oh, great! For those who don't, then just follow my lead. Okay? Are you ready, class? All right! And a one, a two, a one, two, three, go! Air Pressure! Air molecules are moving from up pressure to low air pressure. And if the pressure gets big and the wind will blow, and if it makes the pressure bigger, the rocket will go air pressure. And if the pressure gets big and the wind will blow, and if it makes the pressure bigger, the rocket will go. Right, class, before you take your seat, kindly arrange your chairs properly and pick up some pieces of trash under your chairs first. Okay, very good. You may now take your seat. Today, we are going to have our lesson and I want you to listen and eyes on teacher. Do you get it, class? Okay, very good. But before we proceed to our next lesson, let's have an activity first. Our activity is a word puzzle. In this activity, you are going to find the correct words in the box about the composition of atmosphere that we've already tackled yesterday. Just encircle the correct words that you will find in the box. Let me see if you still remember our previous lesson yesterday. Alright, are you done class? Very good. And now, let us check your work. Very good! All of you get the perfect scores. You really did study well our previous lesson yesterday. Alright, let's have a game. Are you excited, class? Great! You are going to form a group with the six members to play this game in a count of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, very good. And now, each group will going to pick the letters in the box, then arrange and paste it on the board into a correct word. All right, let us start the game in a count of five. One, two, three, four, five, go. Alright, good job class. You've got all the correct words. And now, kindly read all the words you've pasted at the board. Okay, very good class. Okay class, I know that you've enjoyed our game earlier. And now, let's have an another group activity. But before that, let us watch first the video presentation in order for you to answer this group activity with your the same group. Are you class excited? Great! Let's get started. I want you to listen and observe. A few moments later. Alright, the video is done and I know that you've learned many things from it. 
And now, let us proceed to your group activity. Your group activity is a group reporting. And this activity, you are going to follow the format that I've presented at the board. Kindly write it on the manila paper that I've been provided to every group. I will give you 10 to 15 minutes to finish your work and each group should select one representative to present your work. You may now begin. Please kindly cooperate with your group and if I found that one of you will not cooperate, then you will face consequences. Alright, it's already time. Are you done, class? Okay, great. And now, the first one to present is the group 1. Second to present is the group 2 and so on and so forth. To those it's not their turn to present, just be ready. Okay, group 1, you may now begin. A few minutes. Okay, good job everyone. And now class, for your good work, let's do the pack bit claps. Do you know how to do the pack bit claps, class? Alright, for those who don't, then just follow my lead. Alright, let us start in a count of three. A one, a two, a one, two, three, go. Pack na pack, bet na bet, pack na pack, bet na bet, pack bet. Okay, class, let's do it again. In a count of three. A one, a two, a three, go. Pack na pack, bet na bet, pack na pack, bet na bet, pack bet. Okay, very good, class. And now, you may now take your seat. Okay, class. Are you excited to our discussion for today? Okay. I'm happy to hear that, that you are excited to our discussion for today. So, before we proceed to our discussion class, I have a question first. So, the question is, what is air pressure and humidity? And why it is important in our earth? So, anyone? Okay, great answer, very good class. So, our topic for today is all about air pressure and humidity. So, when we say air pressure class, it is the weight of atmosphere pressing down on earth or it is the force exerted by the surface of the air above. It has a gravity uh, force on earth. So, that is air pressure. For example, when the molecules is big, the wind is blow. When the molecules is bigger, airplanes, spaceship, uh, air balloons are fly. That is air pressure. So, when we say uh, humidity class, it's indicate the amount of water or water before. So, it's indicate the amount of water before in our earth. That is humidity. For example, is fog. That is humidity. So, air pressure class, it has a three factors. First, temperature. Second, altitude. Third, moisture. So, class. When we say uh, temperature class, as uh, air gets warmer, it expands the expansion. Cause the density of the air to decrease, which results lower pressure. So, class, temperature, it measure the coldness and the warmness of the object or substances. Or it measure the coldness and the warmness of our earth that is temperature so class so let's proceed to altitude so altitude is above sea level or it high at uh, the certain of level so altitude is describe the angle between horizon and pen point of the sky that is altitude so when we say moisture class it has the amount of moisture in the air also affect the density of the air 
So, moisture glass, when we say moisture glass, it's the amount or the smallest amount of water may be found in foods or what? Commercial product. Very good. So, uh, moisture glass, it is amount of smallest water. For example, if you boiling egg, so you see in the tuck globe, there are smallest particle, tiny water in the globe that is called moisture. For example, if you see in the leaves of banana, leaves of flower, there are tiny particles or water that is moisture. Very good. So, class, you have any clarifications? Questions? Okay, so very good. Uh, you all, you or you all understand. So now let's proceed. Good morning, everyone. I am Jeremy V. Cafe, and my task is to demonstrate this part. Okay, class, for our first activity, please get a sheet of paper because you are going to write a reflective essay about what you have learned in our topic and. You're going to give at least two examples of human activities that affects air pressure and humidity. Alright! Is everybody done? Very good! Alright! Let's have another activity. Each of you will be divided into two groups. First group will be the boys and second group will be the girls. Each group will be given 10 to 15 minutes to do your task. Any questions? Okay, no more questions. So you may now start. Alright, time is up. Very good. Congratulations to each group. You all got the correct answers. Let's give a hand to everyone. And now class for our next activity going to read some questions slowly and in your sheet of paper you are going to write AP if the statements signifies for air pressure and you're going to write H if the statement denotes for humidity okay do you understand class yes okay very good are you ready yes ready Okay, let's start. Number one, it is the weight of the atmosphere pressing down on earth. Again, it is the weight of the atmosphere pressing down the earth. Number two, it will be high if there is a lot of water vapor in the air. Again, it will be high if there is a lot of water vapor in the air. Number three. It is defined as the amount of the water vapor in the air. Again, it is defined as the amount of the water vapor in the air. Number four. If decreased the temperature decreases again if decrease the temperature decreases number five the higher the weather it feels outside the higher the weather it feels outside okay is everybody done Okay, very good. So, before we end, for your assignment, you are going to research about air pollution and their cause and effect to our earth. Any question? Okay, no more questions. Okay, class, thank you so much. That would be all for today. Good job and good